Hi, and welcome to a new Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. This time I would like to show you how to route individual outputs to your host sequencer. Um, well, let's start by opening the Avenger plugin. And as you can see on startup, you only have one output here, which is the green one. And depending on your host, you have now to activate the individual outputs. In Cubase, this happens by clicking in, uh, clicking on this icon here and selecting Activate All Outputs. So as you can see now, all the outputs appeared. We have 16 sub outs, which you can freely route in Avenger. And let's resize it here. Um, for example, let's open a drum kit. Um, let's mute the oscillator. As you can see at the moment, everything, uh, everything here is uh, rooted into the master effect bus. And now this is the bass drum. You can say the bass drum should go into the Avenger output bass drum. Oh, the both of these are bass drums. So second one you can root here, the third one here, and the clap, the snare, percussion, hi hat, percussion, hi hat, right, open and crash. So now everything has its own output. You can solo it here or this. No, this is not used. No. Okay, so as you can see, every drum channel can have its own output. Now we have still four outputs left and these can be routed uh, or, or used for the oscillators. But before, let's apply a send effect. For example, on the snare, we can add a reverb. and maybe a delay on the hi-hat. So these are the, 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 the sent effects. And again, these can be routed into one of the additional four outputs. Let's, for example, choose the aux1 output. So what now happens is that you have all the wet signal of the of the sent effects are rooted into this um, output channel. So, for example, you can uh, apply additional effects only on the wet level. For example, a compressor or equalizer. So. Well, what else can we do? We can now use uh, the oscillator. Let's choose an arpeggio preset here. Let's choose uh, a filter here. So, and now this oscillator is rooted into the FX1 bus, a bus, and we can do a bit crusher here. And this can also again be rooted into another channel. Now we used the AUX2.
and yeah, you can have four other effect buses which can be rooted then into a three or whatever. Of course, you can rename it. Okay, I think that demonstrates how you can route your drum kits and your oscillators to individual outputs in your host sequencer. That's all for the video. Bye. See you in the next video.